Good evening, dear children in Christ. Today I'm I here again, Reverend Dr. G. and Beatrice, in the English sermon topic, Jesus, my refuge, a friend. As the emblem says, Jesus is my refuge, and Jesus my refuge, I want to speak about how he is my friend. When we speak about Jesus, everyone automatically feel and say that he is my friend. Even Jesus is ready to say that I am your friend. But once you just think it over, how he can be your friend, how he is your friend. If you take Bible verses, many verses are there about friend, Jesus being a friend. In John 15, 15 he says, he is not a servant, he is but a friend to you. And John 15, 13 he says, he has a greater love to die for us. And then Proverbs 17 and 17 says, a friend at all times. Proverbs 18 and 24 he says, he is a friend always closer to you. And John 15 and 14 says, a friend who obeys his, his commands. Praise the Lord. A warm welcome to this evening session. Let's all just think how we can be a friend to Jesus and how he makes friendship with us. So uh, to begin with, Jesus is automatically a friend to everyone. As I said earlier, a friend to a needy, a friend to a poor, a friend to rich. Whoever is calling him as a friend, wants to make friendship with him, he is always stretching his hands, saying, Hi, friend, I am always with you. But, dear children, I do know that Bible, what it says, it says, by nature, human beings, if I call from Genesis, Adam and Eve, when they were created by God's image, they were friends of God. But when they have disobeyed the word, word of God, they were not at all friends of God. Rather, I should say, they were enemies. Since then, human beings or man is an enemy to God. And then God always wanted this gap to be filled. And I just want to give a reference in Romans 5.10, he says, by nature we are all God friends. In Romans 5.10 it says, we were God's enemies, but he made us friends through his death of his sin. And Romans 8.7 says, and so a person becomes an enemy of God when he is controlled by his human nature, for he does not obey God's law. So when we don't listen to God's law or his commandments and his word, we are naturally automatically call an enemy of God. And right from the beginning, my dear children, as I said, by nature, human beings were sinners not obeying the Lord's command. And when we don't obey the Lord's command, and we are turn ourselves to be sinners. Not obeying the Lord's command is sin. So by this, Adam and Eve were called sinners and sin entered into the world. And by nature, we always are not listening to God what he wants us to do. And this is how we are in fact God's not agreeable children. Not liked by him when we are not listening to him. So as Bible says that we are enemies of God and he himself said when we are not listening to him we are not listening to his word we are not following the way he wants us to do we are enemies we are no more friends to him according to the Bible uh, the, by nature we are all God's enemies but God sent his only begotten son to save us from the sins and the good news is that God sent Jesus to reconcile sinners to himself so Jesus had come to this world to reconcile the sin or sinners and then unite us or make friendship with our Lord. Human beings were away. They were astray by, do, by not listening to the Lord's word. 
and they were called sinners. Rather, they were enemies of God. But Jesus had come from the Father to the human beings, and he laid his life for us, saved us, and reconciled the human beings to the Lord, which the Father, to the Lord but by his grace. And this is what the God wanted Jesus to do it, and he has done it. This is how the Lord and the Jesus had the friendship between him, and the same friendship Jesus also wanted us to have with him and with the Lord. Now coming to the bad news of it, there are two uh, things that human nature consists of. One is when we listen to Lord and we are following him, the Jesus, that is the good news of us. The bad news of the human beings is that when you don't listen to God, ultimately we are the enemies and we cannot defeat the God. So the biggest enemy of the sinners, uh, as I say human beings, Ultimately, when we don't listen to Lord, we are concerned to be enemies of Lord. And then when we are helpless sinners, we should ask him to save us. Asking him to save you. When you are a helpless sinner, you need to ask him to save you. And then after asking him to save you, the Lord should accept you to save you. And then ask him to save you. And you should be accepted by him. And then... The third one is, seek to grow in Him. So my dear children, to make friendship with Lord Jesus, the very first condition is, we need to be helpless sinners. And God is asking us to come near to Him and He is ready to accept us. He is asking us, our Father, save me. And He is ready to save you. And then after getting the salvation, after getting the saving portion, he is asking us to grow in him. And that growth itself is friendship. That is what I mean to say, friends. So to make friendship with Lord Jesus, we need to be helpless sinners. That is the first criteria. And when we know that we are helpless sinners, we need to ask him to save us. Then we, when he accepts us, to save us, we, are, we should grow in Him. To grow in Him, we would rather call that to be friendship with God. And my dear children, to make friendship with Lord is not so easy. We need to have some standards. We need to have some eligible criteria. We need to have some qualities. And let us discuss the qualities to become a friend of Jesus. In John 15, 12, he says, Love one another as I loved you. So to become a friend of Jesus, we should love one another as he has loved. That is the first criteria. The second criteria is, we should not have quarrels among ourselves. Where in Luke chapter 22, 24, when disciples were having an argument who is great the argument broke out among the disciples as to which one of them should be thought of greatest jesus said the kings of the pagans have power over his, their people and the rulers claim the title friends of the people but this is not the way it is with you rather the greatest one you must be like youngest and the leader must be like a servant who is the greatest one who sits down to eat or one who serves him. This was the argument going in between the disciples. But the Lord said, the one who is greatest is the one who is serving. So the, the quarrel is about the greatest, but the Lord made them learn how not to quarrel over there and showed his love, saying that the serving nature is the greatest nature you should have. And there, the quarrel was quenched down. So in James 4, 1 and 2, where Lord says, Where do all the fights and quarrels among you come from? They come from your desires for pleasure, which are constantly fighting within you. So the quarrels are just because of being great. The quarrels are just because of desires. So the quarrels just come because you don't have love among yourself. 
the lord jesus said we the one who loves me will have love in themselves and they will not quarrel so this is the second condition to have friendship with lord we need we should not quarrel among ourselves and the third condition is as jesus sacrificed life on cross even we need to sacrifice life for our friend the jesus the friend who is the disciple there are two friendship we are making friendship with lord jesus and we need life for him rather we need to go to the extent how he had gone to the extent of cross dying for us the same way we need to go so much ahead for the lord jesus as a friend to sacrifice our life and give him praise galatians 2:20 he says paul says if i am living it is for lord i am not living it is not, it is profitable and he says because jesus had given life for me and this life is for him and then ephesians 5 2 says where he says the we when we sacrifice our lives for lord lord pleases it pleases god the first condition is we have to love one another the second one is we should not be quarrels among ourselves the third one is we have we need to give sacrifice as the lord has given and the fourth one is jesus love to be our love should be to the standard of jesus love the supreme uh, love of lord uh, to the extent of death in john 15 13 he says the greatest love for a friend is to give your life and the fourth condition abide in his love he says when you are ha- you are friend with Jesus you should have as Jesus had love with his father same way we should have love for our father Jesus and that should be in that way we should abide our love he says in 59 as i was listening to my father even you should listen to me and then in john 13 and 30 he says if you have love for one another then everyone will know that you are my disciples so we have love for one another the jesus love itself is show that we are disciples rather i will say that we are connected we are having friendship with lord to show the friendship with lord we need to love one another seeing our love for them they should feel he is a real child or a real friend of jesus and then come to the sixth version friend of jesus should obey the commands in john 15 14 he says and you are my friends if you do i what i command you he says jesus himself said in john 14 you will be called my friends when you obey my commands so we need to follow his commands love yours love the lord and then love your neighbor when you follow his commands or follow his words follow his follow him in every way then he is calling us friend and the next one is he made known to us the father the father the lord in heaven was so much in pain to get reconciled with us to get friendship with us and he knew his father said i will go and to the earth and do this work and he was ready and he said i'll uh, and he did for his father so this concern was shown by jesus the father's agony was shown by jesus to us and we were lost by disobeying him in the eden garden and then he reconciled by laying down his life on the cross and making the fellowship with lord so fellowship instead of fellowship as a the friendship we be bo- which we broke in the eden where again was again joined by the lord jesus and it is there in john 15 15 he says if you remain in me i will remain remain in you and then the eighth point is he says in john 15 16 choose in he says i choose you and you did not choose me i choose you and appoint you to go much fruit and if you remain in me it proves that when we when as jesus was with god lord he could do all the work what lord father wanted to do in the same way when we we make friendship with our jesus we can do what all jesus wants the friend we call him we can do for him so he says i have chosen you as a friend not you my dear children he has chosen already as we as friends 
So let us all be happy that he has chosen us first and then we have chosen later. And we are grateful that we are chosen by him and we accept his friendship. And he wants us to be in him, remain him to be fruitful, fruitful in his friendship. So my dear children, I would like to say a few points and recollect what is the value of friendship with Jesus. If you are my friend, uh, I, I call when you are coming to me, I call you as a friend, not as a servant. This is there in John 15, 15. He says, I don't call you as a servant, but friend. In John 15, 13, he says, I, uh, the greatest love a friend should have is to sacrifice his life for him. And in Proverbs 17, 17, he says, a friend at all times. We should be a friend to Jesus at all times. And the one who is friend to Jesus, we need to be with them always. It's a, it's a parallel connection going on. When we are friend to Jesus, we are doing what, at what all he wants us to do. And when we are making friendship with our fellowship, we should show the Jesus friendship to them. And then coming to 18 of 24 Proverbs, a friend closer than brother. A brother is always a sibling, so he is always close to his brother. But Jesus says, I will be more than a brother to you. Whenever you ask me any help, I am there very close to you, more than a brother. And in John 15, he says, if you follow my commands, you have to follow my commands and I will be a, always your friend. So... Uh, my dear friends, in a biblical way, if you just go and search around, I have taken three people, Abraham, Second uh, Chronicles 27, where the Jeshapatan was having an army, a war with uh, Edom. There he stands and prays and he says, the how you have made Joseph as a friend and you have helped him in the same way, being following him, you also help me. Now, Isaiah 41, 8, you are the friend of Israel. And then Exodus 33, 11, call Moses to be your friend. And so, my dear friends, when you take Jesus as a friend, as I said, Jesus is my refuge, a friend. Yes, he is a refuge, uh, doing friendship with me, and he is calling me friend. So, a refuge is nothing but a friend to me. A refuge is taking part of, taking uh, protection, defending, and taking care of every situation. In the same way, friend is a refuge who takes care of everything. So I call my Jesus to be a friend and a refuge. I think you all must have heard one number, an English number where we say, what a friend we have in Jesus, right? So let me have this number for you. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Heavy trials and temptations is a trouble anyway. We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Just Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumber with the Lord of care? Precious save us till our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee? 
Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his some shield, stick and shield the will find a solace there. As the song says, what a friend we have in Jesus. Whenever we are, we are in trouble, whenever we are in load of pain, we can go to him and put all the things on his shoulders. And he says, I'm there for you. Just a wonderful friend we have in Jesus. So my dear friends, I would like you all to drive out you uh, to the Lord Jesus, saying that accept, make Jesus as your friend and accept his friendship. And my dear children, share everything with him and he is there always with you. So my dear children, what we have learned today in this uh, sermon is, we, the Lord is our friend, the Jesus is our friend. We need to be close to him for every need. We need to take every situation to him and he's there to help us out. And he wants us to make friendship with you. Are you all ready, children, to make friendship with him? And he's calling you, stretching out hands. And he said, I was sent by my father to save you all. And he made us again connect, reconcile to our Lord. Rather, I would say that the friendship which was broken in Eden Garden was again connected by Jesus himself by laying his, uh, laying his life on the cross for us. So every drop of the bread which was shed on the cross was for us to make friendship path for the Lord who is there above. He has done it and it's our chance. As Paul said, my Lord has left life, my Lord has given his life, or sacrificed my life for myself and I am there to give my life for him. And in the same way, let us also, also abide in ourselves uh, the Lord's friendship and show the friendship or Jesus' friendship to the, to the world and say, my Lord is a friend, my God is a friend. And he always stretches out his hand, his hand for us to make friendship. Dear children, come and make friendship with my Lord, Jesus Christ. Uh, as I call him as a refuge, a friend, I want, even I want you all to call a friend a refuge. Come to him, come near to him. He's always ready to accept you as a sinner and cleanse all your sins and make you friend. Yes, he said, I will never call you a servant. He's always with us at, at times. And he says, I'm more than a brother and uh, closer to you. And he also said that he has a greater love such a greater love that he can die he has he has given his life for us and by dear children even we should have such love for our lord so we we should go to that extent to give our lives for lord's purpose and my dear children this god what is the purpose for our life in this world call and save them for our lord jesus who is stretching our ha ha his hands for our friendship Yes, I stretched out my hands to my Lord to accept my friendship and he has given me the verse, I'm your refuge. Children, please come forward to accept Jesus as your friend. And as Abraham, he called his friend, he called Israel to be his friend. David called him as a friend, the one who had all come to his uh, presence he has always accept, accepted and as i spoke earlier the helpless sinner is a best eligibility to come close to lord yes he has come not for the righteous people but for the sinners and the sinners i call upon come to jesus and accept your sins ask him for him to save you and he is a savior so my dear friends make life you fruitful in him, in his friendship. And don't waste your time here and there. The one who has taken Jesus as a friend, let us grow in him, his friendship. The one who has taken Jesus as his friend, let us all grow in his friendship and develop his friendship around the world and make no everyone about his friendship, about his love, about his friendly love and how he is so close to us as a friend. So children, accept him as a friend and be a good friend of him. And let's have a small prayer. Today, as we have spoken about the friendship of yours, yes, Master, you are the best friend of our life. 
you says when you accept me as a friend i am always there with you and you also said you have not chosen me but i have chosen you that's a great thing of you you have chosen us first as a friend and then we have accepted your friendship lord jesus let us all know that you are a good friend of the one who comes to you for for their needs for the cleansing of our sins and accept you as friend thank you jesus there is no one who is like you a father and giving the bonds to the sinners let all the sinners helpless sinners come to you and make friendship to you and i also pray for the one who already has a friendship with you to grow in you our master grow in your friendship and let us let everyone call you as a friend a good friend and indeed you are a good friend master and i just leave it to the people who have listened to that make friendship with lord let them have you as a friendship i ask this prayer in the precious name of jesus christ amen god bless you children and try to make friendship with our lord taste him and check him out and come near to him and be blessed god bless you mm-hmm.